Thanks for joining us. Eric is off tonight. There's a question on a lot of people's minds. Will Dane County's next public health order drop the countywide mask requirement? We may not know until next week, but it is something local businesses are already considering. Gabriella Becerra spoke with a number of places today, and she's live to tell us what the CDC's updated guidance means to them. Gabby? Charlotte, the CDC's no masks for the fully vaxxed recommendation doesn't change anything for businesses here in Dane County, but it does signal some kind of hope that this pandemic might be almost over. Jennifer Homre gives credit to vaccinations for bringing customers back into her restaurant. People are starting to come back. We are starting to see faces that we haven't seen in more than a year's time. The bar manager at RP Adlers is navigating this next part of the pandemic, where it feels like there's new guidance almost every day. The latest CDC recommendation of no masks for fully vaccinated people leaves restaurants like hers with more to think about. Who should be, who shouldn't be, do we ask, don't we ask, um, but I absolutely absolutely think that that is something that is suggesting that we are starting to see some of the end of this, though I think, you know, we all realize it'll be around for a little while yet. No one has all of the answers quite yet, but the business community sees the latest recommendation as a positive sign. With the CDC guidance and with what we hopefully will see is a uh, an acceptance of that science and a change locally is that it really does allow businesses to start getting back to the the uh, business as normal. Greater Madison Chamber of Commerce President Zach Brandon says local businesses are looking to public health Madison in Dane County and its vaccination rate to plan for the new normal. Businesses have been thinking about you know how do we uh, create vaccination only areas so that's already be, it's already begun customers trust businesses to keep safe and healthy practices and in return those businesses depend on you to do the same there's a counter expectation that people are are being honest and truthful about their vaccination status and are doing what's right for themselves and for their family. Homre says that's something they ask of all customers who walk through the door. Please know that there's other folks here we're, we're asking you to do your best to think of other people in the process. All of the businesses I talked to today said they will continue to follow public health's current order, which requires masks to be worn indoors. We're expecting an update about that order from public health next week. Gabby, thank you. This